Did you know that your Mac has the ability to translate any text across all different applications? And it is not just some Safari add-on to translate websites. It is a full dictionary which you can even use offline. And today we can all combine it with these new AI writing tools to adjust the translation. And there is also one cool third-party translator which is using AI. So already while translating, you can be using these AI tools to improve the translation. I will show you that later in the video. But now we will start with the Apple Translator. I have already prepared some examples on the other desktop, so let's go there and see them one by one. To access the translating tools, you will need to use the context menu. You can open this menu by right clicking on the selected area, or by two finger clicking on a trackpad, or by holding down the control key on your keyboard and tapping on the selected text with your mouse cursor. You can see the option right here, translate. If you click on that, it opens this small window here. It guesses the language and suggests another one to translate into. However, you can change the languages. The selection is not very wide, but in my opinion, it provides a better translation compared to the most commonly used Google Translator. Let's test it. I can copy this part of the text in French and paste it into the Google Translator. And I can do the same with the Apple Translator. I can copy it into the Pages document and translate it there, so we can have the translation side by side for comparison. You can now pause the video and compare the translation yourself. On the Mac, you are limited to just a few languages, so I can't for example translate anything into my native language, which is Czech. But in the languages which are available, the translation is much better than using Google Translator, which doesn't really sound like a human translation at all. There are also a few additional features and settings related to the Apple Dictionary. First, you can replace the translated text directly into the Pages app. To do this, click on the Replace with Translation button. Another advantage of the Apple Dictionary is the option to use it offline. In order to do that, you will first have to download the requested language. You can find it in System Settings, but faster is to again open the translation from the context menu. Here is the selection of languages, and down there you have a button to Manage Languages, which will take you directly to System Settings, where you can download all the selected languages you need. But very often you will actually need it on the internet. While browsing on the web, you might end up on the page in different language. You can of course use the same technique on the web, but in Safari, there is a specific translation feature that can translate an entire page for you. When you load up a page, you may see the note translation available at the top, but that will disappear in a second and moves to the button over here. So click on it and translate to English. That will change the whole page into English language. You can also find the same options under the view menu. Here in the translation, I can revert it back to original or select a different language to translate into. Above all of that, today we can take our translation to the next level with Apple Intelligence Technology and other AI tools. Let's revisit the translated text. This is the generated translation which sounds good, but I can combine it with the new AI writing tools and rewrite the text in a more professional manner with just one click. By using this technique, you can translate the whole articles from various languages and make them more enjoyable to read without the artificial feel that you will get from the normal translators. But now I am getting to the AI translator I promised you in the beginning of this video, which is one step ahead and it's called Deeple. You can access it online or download it as an app on your Mac. I will link it for you in the description of this video. This is not a sponsored link, I'm just showing you the application I like to use myself. And in the basic version, it's entirely for free. Same as everything on this channel. So if you want to support me, you can also do it for free just by clicking on the like button or by subscribing to the channel. But now let's have a look at the app. Good thing here is that this particular application offers not only basic translation, but also the ability 
to adjust it while translating. Let's use the same text we translated at the beginning of this video to demonstrate how it works. Simply paste the text here and it will generate the translation. However, I can click on any part of the sentence that I don't like and I can replace it with another word. Then AI will adjust the rest of the sentence to fit my new word. This is particularly useful if you have at least some knowledge of the target language and you want to improve the translation's quality. Here is also the ability to translate from the pictures. You can use this app to capture the text from the screenshot, like this one, and translate it right in the application. Alternatively, you can use the built-in Apple Translator to do the same thing. Just select the text from the image and use the Translate from Context menu. So there are quite a lot of small but useful features in built-in macOS. And if you want to find all of them with one click, then use this black button right under the video to subscribe to the channel and I'll find all of them for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.